All right, so I got this black mother of pearl in. Um, it's technically mother of pearl with a dark resin over top of it. So this is the piece we're working on tonight, uh, where the reflection is looking a lot nicer flat rather than as a head on. Though even then it catches pretty well. This is definitely a pretty, uh, pretty thin kind of wafer of a piece. Most shell can be, especially mother of pearl, it tends to be pretty, pretty thin. And now I'm flattening it out. We will get our, our frame measured out from this. Okay. I'm just chopping it slightly early. Let's see, I think you're a little too long. Yeah, a little too long. Doesn't have to be perfect right now. We just need the ends to meet. Solder our goodness. Boop. Other piece. Boop. Boop. There we go. You can just barely see the little rim that's going to hold the shell in place. So now we just have to solder the two together. There we go. Okay, so shell fits in. I didn't press it down or anything. There's no reason to, but uh, there we go. It's always a good feeling when it fits right away. You could just buy jump rings the size you need, but there's like one size I do that for, but most of the time I just make my own as I need them. It looks pretty good. Looking a lot shinier, a lot shinier. Okay, just ever slow slightly. And then we get our, our high point. back to my oval edges and get a little more aggressive. That's what we look like so far. Pushing over our stuff. Got our ends done and now we're just getting periphery. So ends here and now we're getting these midpoints. That looks pretty damn good. Okay. There we go. And we just have a little bit of tool marks, obviously from, uh, from pushing over that bezel. Uh, that just needs to be taken over to the machine again. But there we go. Nice and shiny. 
so shiny. Happy shinies. I'm just, uh, I'm just lucking out that I had an extra one for tonight, especially considering this is a uh, bit of a late starting stream. So I'm going to be glad that past me made one of these, made an extra and use it. <laughs> made a little notch here, basically, where the jump ring's going to rest in. Just squish. So now that's locked in there a little bit. Because we always want, it. and if you ever own a bracelet like this, that's that's all it is is a tension bracelet. You just pull it out a bit, and then you want about that much gap. Let's see if I could get that right. You want about that much gap when it's at rest. That way, when you pull it in, it sits. Uh, but super cool. And uh, that should be up in my store probably by the end of the week. 